about to accept any excuses. How long did you say you've been in this job? Uh, about um, four years and eight months. You incompetent, oh. inefficient blockhead. You've been doing the same job for more than four and a half years and you're still bossing it up. Poor Oma, he's always getting it in the neck. Don't, don't worry, he doesn't let it get like to him. He'll survive. You know what's good for you. Yeah, but he's so clumsy. Hard, my friend, you better buck up and get your ass in gear fast and I mean fast. Are your what a bastard. Sight. And he's really not bad at his job either, but I have to admit, I'm glad he's not in my department. I mean, he's a nice guy, but a bit of a oh, liability, excuse me. don't you think? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. Excuse me, sir? I would have had the manners to apologize. I'm terribly sorry, sir. It's my fault entirely. Try to look where you're going in future. Is that the best you can do? Now to say, please, you've said enough. But he's so arrogant. Please, I've said it's all right. I was the one to bump into him. I should have been more careful. Come here, you. You're just too nice a person. They don't deserve someone like you in this dump. Thanks, but I'm an easygoing guy. And I don't take things too seriously. <laughs> but there are some things in life that you oh. ought to take seriously. Hey, look, isn't that Ryuchi Murakami, the chairman's protege and right-hand man? Hmm, so it is. And what a handsome and hunky specimen to boot. Everyone says he's going to be the next chairman. Hmm, I wonder if he's spoken for. Maybe I'll show him how interested I am. Uh-uh, that type is made of stone. Throw your cap at him, and the best you can hope for is a one-night stand. What's all this last-minute fuss? What are you so worried about? Ryuchi, I'm scared stiff. I don't know if I can. Honey, trust me. It'll be all right. No one's going to know. But uh, it's so much money. You're asking for so much. Darling, don't be silly. It's not such a huge amount. They won't even miss it. Keiko, darling, just think you'll be doing it for us, for our life together, for our future. Darling, I hope you mean that. Of course I do, sweetheart. I've never been more serious in all my life. Now you go ahead with the plan and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm having drinks with the chairman tonight. Are you cheap? Ryuchi, please. Please wait. Here. Oh. 
Mr. Oma, it's you. I thought this might come in useful. Thank you, but what about you? Don't worry about me. I'm a tough guy. I can put up with a little bit of rain. But, uh, Mr. Oma! You, you'll get parrot's disease. Don't worry, you're not gonna bite me, are you? She's the strangest parrot I've ever seen. Really sinister looking. Well, old thing, I love you regardless of your looks. I don't know what's come over me. Going to bed with a weirdo like you. I'm sure my mother wouldn't approve. By the way, you know Keiko Yamamoto in the accounts department? Well, I think she's seeing Ryuchi Murakami. Yeah? And how would you know about it? You know me, darling. I'm very sensitive to love vibrations. Another one of your fantasies? <laughs> ah. I'm not very cheerful this evening. There's been some trouble. It's not the South American bank plan, is it? You know what's good for you. You'll never mention that again. I'm sorry, sir. Really, I am. Okay. Although I have to admit it was a good guess in a way. It's been discovered that a girl in the accounts department has embezzled quite a large sum. The auditors and police will be turning up tomorrow, and of course they'll be going through the books. But I trust you've arranged matters so that it would be impossible for them to find any evidence of the loans to South America. Hey, are you listening? Yes, of course. It'll be all right. I've arranged everything. There's no possibility of anyone discovering anything. The whole affair's down as legitimate expenditure. <sighs> yeah, well, I hope so for your sake. But with your imminent trip to Washington, you wouldn't want any trouble now, would you? Sir, I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. You've been more than a father to me. You can rest assured that no information will ever be plucked from my lips. Just do what I told you. No buts. Follow the instructions I gave you. And for heaven's sake, don't get hysterical. That isn't going to do either of us any good. No one's going to get their hands on that cash but me. Someone's been accused of embezzlement. Who could it be? I heard it was Keiko Yamamoto. No, I can't believe it. Apparently, she stole the money to give it to her boyfriend. They say she's hiding out somewhere. But I don't suppose it'll be long before the police catch up with her. Omar speaking. Hello? Who is this? Don't you recognize me? Oh, Miss Yamamoto. Yes. This is a big surprise. I suppose you know about the turmoil at the office. Yes. And I'm terribly sorry to bother you. But uh, I felt you were the only person I could turn to. The only one who'd listen to me. I'm honored you should say that. And of course I'll listen to you, but I think you should realize that you're wanted by the police. There's a warrant out for your arrest, and they're looking for you. Mr. Murakami? Uh, how, how did you... So, she said she wouldn't tell anyone. And that I shouldn't worry because she hadn't left any evidence that would implicate me. And that I was to know she loved me with all her heart. Yeah? That's what she said. <gasps> oh. What exactly do you want, Oma? Is it money or is it rather... 
that you'd like to ruin my life and at the same time take my job from me, hmm? No, I'm only passing on a message. <coughs> on your feet, you worthless <coughs> shit. Now you just get it straight. <coughs> I don't even know this kid for Yamamoto, right? I've never even heard the name, and what's more, I've never even seen her. Why should I notice a little bitch like that when I can have any woman I choose, idiot? So don't oh. go around spreading rumors. Anyway, Oma, going by your record, I guess you'll probably stay a junior for at least five years. So when I get back and I'm promoted to an executive position, I'll be able to decide on your possible future prospects and promotion in the company. You should perhaps bear that in mind. I didn't know you were going away. What's going on in here? Nothing. I was just showing my friend Oma the latest karate techniques. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. My humble apologies, but as you're here, sir, I may as well tell you the bad news. The police have found the girl, the one suspected of embezzling company funds. She's dead. They found her hanging in a warehouse. Yes. Oh, the poor girl. No doubt it was for the best. go before college life in Washington. It's all working out according to plan. Including disposing of the girl by staging her suicide. The silly little bitch really believed I loved her. <laughs> uh, though there's still the minor problem what to do with Oma. But on a second thought, the guy's such a weakling he's not likely to give me any grief. deceived others and yourself. I quote Article 42 of the Penal Code of Darkness which prescribes punishment by nailing the guilty tongue will be nailed down. Who, who are you? Too often evildoers escape because their crimes are not discovered or because they really believe they are right. For centuries my ancestors have passed judgment on these criminals and prescribed their punishment. I am heir to this task, and I am known as the Judge of Darkness. Help me. Please, don't leave me like this. <laughs> and what I hold here is a collection of all the judicial precedents judged fairly by my ancestors. It is called the Statute Book of Darkness. <laughs> It is made of human skin, and naturally, it has a heart which you can both hear and feel. The magic and the power of this book allows us to communicate with the spirit. Ryuchi! Ryuchi! You, the defendant, Ryuchi Murakami. You stand convicted of masterminding the embezzlement of your company's funds and of causing the death of your accomplice. Because of your deceitful promises, you managed to evade justice and punishment. Therefore, in accordance with Article 65 of the Penal Code of Darkness, you are sentenced to death by shrouding. <laughs>
His spirit should be happy in hell, surrounded by evil and shrouded in his worldly ambitions. having a little bit of fun. Ma. Don't you come near me, you Ma. shitty flea-ridden pest! Now be reasonable. She hasn't done you any harm. Uh. And besides, your dinner's getting cold. Here you are. Thanks. I've been wondering what happened to Murakami. I haven't seen him around. He completely disappeared. Do you know if he ever got to go and do that business MA at college in Washington? No, I can't say I do. Remember you said you thought there was something going on between him and Kiko Yamamoto? You don't suppose he might have committed suicide because of feeling guilty about what happened to Kiko? No, I wouldn't think so. He wasn't that sort at all. Yeah, I agree. More? More? Shut up! <coughs> oh. Hello, Omer here. What? Good God, what terrible news. But thank you for letting me know. What is it? What's happened? It's Mr. Yamanobi, the managing director, who was seconded to South America. What news about him? Apparently, he was ambushed by local guerrillas and murdered. What? Mrs. Yamanobi. May I express my deepest regrets and sincere condolences. If there's anything you need... Uh... I'm so terribly sorry. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Mr. Cavalmata. Your husband's sudden death is a great <laughs> tragedy for all of us. And on behalf of the company, I'd like to express our collective grief and sense of loss. Why, Mr. Cavalmata? Why him? Unfortunately, the world is not always a friendly place. And that country in particular is very dangerous, I know, because I worked there for some years myself. But why, why did the company send him to such a dangerous place? Mrs. Yamanobi, I understand and share your feelings because, as you know, your husband was also my best friend. However, you should try not to grieve so much or he will not be able to rest in peace. But you can count on me for any assistance or help. Please rest assured of that. Thank you, Mr. Cowboy. Thank you very much. Shall we go outside? Yes, let's. What a strong little boy their son is. He managed to keep back his tears. I didn't see him cry once. Mm. Hiroshi! Hiroshi! You go on ahead. I'll go find Hiroshi. Okay. But bring him back here. Kawamata speaking. Who's this on the line? Kawamata. Huh? Who the hell? Who the hell is playing games? Kawamata. Huh? Who are you? Answer me. Don't you reckon? 
lies beneath its Yamanobi. What? I beg you, please get me out of here. In my humble opinion, you are in dire need of an attorney. Who the hell may I ask are you? That's not an issue for the time being. The only thing you need to know right now is that I am the only person on earth who can help you solve your problem. And rest assured, my friend, you do have a problem. Waiter, over here. I want you to get rid of this man. Huh? Uh, stop that! Stop that now! Uh, would you really... I won't charge you for this consultation, but I'll leave you my card. I'll be hearing from you. Huh? Huh? What the hell is this? Good morning, Mr. Kawamata. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kawamata. Good morning, Mr. Kawamata. Good morning, young man. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. Oh, yes, I don't feel very well. Kawamata, here I am again. It's me. Yamanobi. I want to come back. I want to come back, my friend. You must help me. I want to come back. This comes as no surprise. I told you I'd be hearing from you. I suppose you had a chance to test the effectiveness of my amulet, hmm? But I have to warn you that its power won't last very long. It is but a temporary aid, and its potency is extremely limited. Would you say that your field of activity is mainly in the spirit world? <laughs> yes, mainly. You see, the dead are always accusing the living. People die in all sorts of ways. Some are killed in accidents, some commit suicide because of pain or shame caused by another. Some are killed by greed and ambition. All these spirits cry out for judgment, which is not based on ordinary law, but on the law of darkness. They'll return to haunt over and over again until the accused are destroyed by their own fear. The living are terribly vulnerable to spirits, and they have very little idea of how they can protect themselves. I am the attorney who can mediate on behalf of the living in the court of darkness, and therefore help and protect them from the spirits. Yes, now that I understand, I'd like to hire you as my attorney. My fee is 50 million yen. What? And I adamantly refuse to take a penny more. But that's an outrageous sum. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> well, you could always try and find someone else. That wouldn't bother me in the slightest. Oh, no? No. Hey, wait. Don't go. I agree. I'll pay you whatever you ask. But I have one condition. Yes, it wouldn't take much to guess that you would like all this kept secret. That's him. Susumu Yamanobi. We were in college together and joined the company at the same time. We were quite competitive. I saw him as a rival as well as a friend because we both wanted the top job. 
This spring, he was posted to our South American office, and unfortunately, whilst out on research, he got entangled in the guerrilla war. He was extremely unlucky, but I suppose he's so angry that it happened to him instead of me that he sent his spirit to haunt my life. I wish I could console him so that he can rest in peace. Are you sure you've never said or done anything to cause his hatred? No, never. You do realize that as your attorney, I need to know everything about you and Yamanobi, even though it may be painful and difficult to talk about. I have nothing to hide, nothing. And there's nothing for me to feel guilty about. We were the best of friends. We shall see. Not far to go now before we get to our camp. Hang on in there a little bit longer. I'm a very busy man. I can't see the point of taking the day off to come out here in the freezing cold just to climb a mountain. Since the beginning of time, it has been known that mountains are the chosen home of the spirits. That's why we have come to this place. Your task is to pray for the soul of Susumu Yamanobi, pray for his spirit to rest in peace, keep praying for a week. Your prayers will draw his spirit here, but don't leave the tent under any circumstances till I say so. Yes, but I don't quite understand. By him, do you mean Yamanobi? We cannot say what the spirits will do. So merciful Buddha, may his soul rest in peace. Protect us, so merciful Buddha, may his soul rest in peace. Protect us, so merciful Buddha. defendants in the court of darkness. What? Without an attorney to plead for the defendant, the court would be incomplete and the trial could not be properly judged. As the judge of darkness, you are obviously aware of this fact, but perhaps you were hoping I wouldn't show up this time. Well, you were mistaken, and I am here to defend my client. The defender of evil. Yes, I know all about you and your ways. You're the attorney who will plead on behalf of even the most cruel and evil wrongdoers, as long as they pay enough. Only God can be the judge of man's behavior, and who are we to decide what is right and what is wrong? What arrogance is this that allows one man to pass judgment on another? That is a false argument. You play with words and sentiments so that evildoers go free and unpunished. There's no point in continuing this argument. Our opinions are completely opposed. All I can say is that we'll be seeing each other in court, won't we? Why see each other in court? Why not settle the matter here? If you prefer it that way...
What did I say? You may cling to your mistaken belief that you are always in the right, but that will not make you invincible. Therefore, beware. Watch this. I call on the spirits of all the accused and the convicted. And as you have your statute book of human skin, I have my weapons. Huh? So, my friend, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of pain for a change? <laughs> These evil spirits will obey my every command. They are tamed by my power. Let me show you what I mean. Descend! <laughs> in the name of the spirits, may he rest in peace. Oh, merciful Buddha, please protect us. Oh, merciful Buddha, please protect us. You can us. relax oh, now. Buddha, it's all been done. What? Have no more fear. Susumu Yamanobi will rest in peace. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! How you were right, it didn't hurt you too badly, did it? Oh, dear. Well, aren't you going to tell me what it is? It's a subpoena from the Court of Darkness. It means that you have to appear before the judge. But I thought you said... I know what I said. Nevertheless, one cannot ignore the call to appear before the Supreme Court of Darkness. Nanase. Nanase. Not her say. Oh, Jiro. Not her say. I need your help. My help? I've summoned Kawamata to the Supreme Court of Darkness. You summoned Kawamata? I need your help, Nana say. Please help me, Nana say. I need your help, Nana say. Please help me, Nanase. Help me. Help. Good morning. How are you? Fine. How are you? Oma's taking the day off again. One of these days, his boss is going to start asking questions, and that'll teach him a lesson. Huh? You again. I told you never to contact me here. How have you been keeping since we last met? Fine, quite all right. Everything seems okay. I haven't seen the spirit again. Hmm. Oh. And I'm beginning to wonder about this. Is it really that important? What on earth is all this about a Supreme Court of Darkness, anyway? You've heard of Yama, haven't you? Who? Oh. Yama's other title is the Lord Judge of Hell. Yes, yes, of course. How silly of me to forget. <laughs> Seeing that you know about these things, you will also know that... There are ten judges in the spirit world, and their task is to pass judgment and sentence the evildoers who are already dead, but who still have gone unpunished. However, on rare occasions, they also judge the cases of live defendants, 
I've never had to assist at one of these cases, but I do know that they are an extremely serious matter. And as the judges are in the spirit world, the defendant and attorney have to be rendered uh -huh. half dead in order to appear. Oh. Which means, my dear Kawamata, that you and I are most likely going to have to die so that you may appear in answer to your summons and that I may appear to plead for you and defend you against the charge of plotting the death of Susumi Yamanobi. But I don't understand. What is all this about having to die? Don't you see? You are summoned to appear at the Supreme Court of Darkness, which is held in the spirit world. <laughs> But rest assured, I will do everything in my power to defend you. <laughs> now I'm totally confused. You've lost me completely. Judges who are spirits, a supreme court of darkness. Who did you say was supposed to be accusing me? The judge of darkness. You don't seriously think I believe this crap? May I come in, sir? These documents need your approval and signature. Yes, of course. Bring them over here. Send Kawamata to the Supreme Court of Darkness. Do it now. Watch out! Huh? <laughs> the spirit is using the girl. He's using the girl as a medium. Oh my god! It's the cloth uh, crow! The cloth what? She strips the clothes off the dead in the gates of hell. Judges of hell. I have asked you here so that I might benefit from your collective wisdom. And now I call on the Judge of Darkness. We are gathered here together to preside over the hearing of a most evil and unpleasant crime perpetrated by an evil and unpleasant mind, someone who would even kill his best friend for reasons of personal greed and ambition. The defendant is accused of cold-bloodedly plotting the murder of his best friend in order to climb high on the ladder of success. Your Honor, that accusation is nothing but pure fabrication dreamt up by evil liars who wish my client harm. I plead not guilty for the defendant, Kawamata. The plea is duly noted. Your Honor, if it may please the court, I would like to call the victim as my first witness. Very well. Bring in the victim. Yes, sir! The victim is Osumo Yamanobi, joint managing director of the Chitos Trading Company, posted to South America and abducted by local gorillas found dead a week later. His age is stated as 47. <laughs> there is no need to swear him in. The dead never lie. Proceed with your questioning. Are you the late Suzumu Yamanobi, joint managing director of the Chitos Trading Company of Japan? I am. It's not true! He's lying! Take it easy! <laughs> this is just a bloody nightmare! <laughs> and I'm sick and tired of all this schlock horror! <laughs> the defendant will only speak when addressed by the court! <sighs> you must keep quiet. Take care not to offend the judges or it will count against you. 
Don't forget that in this court, each judge has one vote and they are free to use it as they see fit. You would be wise to let me do the talking, but don't worry, we're going to win this. Am I right in saying that you replaced Kawamata at the South American subsidiary? Yes. Is it true that unbeknown to head office Kawamata operated a huge slush fund of company money in order to bribe and influence local guerrillas? Objection! Your Honor, that is a vile slur and totally unsubstantiated. I ask for it to be struck from the record. Yes, it could very well have been possible. In our South American branch, it was not unusual for a man of his seniority to have access to very large funds. So, it would have been possible for Mr. Kawamata to exert influence over the guerrillas by bribing them with large amounts of money? Theoretically, yes. As I said, he had access to enough funds. Enough to justify a murder? I'm sorry. I don't understand. I don't get your point. Kawamata stands accused of first plotting and then carrying out your elimination by means of local guerrillas. It's absolutely impossible to believe that he would do such a thing. Why? Because we were always the very best of friends at college and at work. It's been that way for 20 years. Allow me to present the following fact. It was my client who took it upon himself to conduct all the negotiations with the company for compensation on behalf of the family of the deceased. By devotedly applying much time and energy, he finally succeeded in obtaining the maximum concession for the bereaved family. I asked the court, are these the actions of a cold-blooded murderer? That is nothing but a gesture to disguise his crime and alleviate his guilt. Substantiate your allegations. I demand proof. I turn to you. Suzumu Yamanobi, don't you harbor any hatred for the man who plotted your death? I don't believe my death was the result of a plot by my old and best friend. It was just bad luck. Bad luck? We all have to die eventually. But of course I didn't want to die. I wasn't old, or infirm, or in bad health. But most of all, I didn't want to leave my darling wife, my young son, who now has no father to look after him. That is my greatest regret. <laughs> And sadness. You heard Yamanobi himself say that his death was just bad luck. On the basis of this evidence, I demand that the trial be stopped this very moment. My client is innocent, and I demand that he be released immediately. He has been falsely accused. That's not true. What? It was my doing. I plotted to kill Yamanobi. I had him sent into the forest on a pretext, and I ordered the guerrillas to shoot him. Yes! Don't listen to I him! I was afraid of Yamanobi. I'd always seen him as a threat. I've always been jealous of his popularity and competence. He was a threat to my position, and I'm very ashamed to say that I allowed my greed for power to get the better of me to the extent that I killed my get best friend. Get away from there, Kawamata. That mirror is dangerous. It reflects your true thoughts and feelings and reveals them to us all. Oh, no! I didn't do it! <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't kill anybody. I'm innocent. You're trying to trick me. It's all lies. There's no point in fooling yourself. We must confess our crime and pay the price for what we did. No, I haven't done any. You should have known better than go near that mirror which reveals the inner personality. He obviously wasn't aware that our inner feelings are far more honest. I feel like I've been asleep. What's been happening to me? What was I doing? Oh yes, I was taking this to Mr. Kawamata's office. Morning, sir. I brought... <gasps> Here you are, sir. A glass of milk. Don't you have soya milk? I'm sorry, but we don't. Never mind, then. 
I just have to drink this. Very well, sir. Where were you? You were off work again. It'll affect your promotion, you know. I couldn't help it. A problem came up, and I had to sort it out straight away. Because I was the one to find him, the police questioned me for hours, which was not a lot of fun. I wanted you there with me. I'm sorry. You know I would have been there if I could. It's all very strange. They say he strangled himself, but I don't understand how anyone could do that. What do you think? I think the decent part of him finally found the courage to judge and punish the evil part. I think in this case you might be right. But the good side of man does not always win. Many criminals evade judgment, and most people do not face up to their evil side. That's why crimes must be judged in the appropriate court. That's right. And defendants must get fair hearings, and victims must feel justice has been done. This is the rule, whether it be in the courts of the land or in the Supreme Court of Darkness. I will always do my best to be just to all concerned, to the victims of crime and to the defendants.